and Fem So I yeah <laughs> I can't like move my little evil Santa so I will do that once I get home but I just woke it's pretty pretty late it's like 11 a.m. I'm just waiting for Seifon to do a way in to film it for me I'm able to do it alone but I don't have like my big camera stand with me so that's why yeah he is going for a little walk with Kairon and I am just going to play some Zelda really quick um so yeah that's about it. I feel like it's a vacation for me because I don't have like my laptop with me and stuff like that so I can't work on YouTube. So it's just, yeah, I just have free time for a few hours. That means that I will have to work like through the evening but that's okay. So yeah, let's do some Zelda and after that I will show you my way in. So I just started to playing this game so I'm super super noob at this game but it's super super fun. I really enjoy it. I really like it. I have played Zelda on the Wii before like the, the Nintendo Wii. I really really loved it and also like by the way look at this thing. I am going to grab his head and throw it in the water. I thought that was so funny. <laughs> so yeah. So today I'm also doing a quick weigh-in. Over the past 20 days I lost 3.2 kilos which is 7.1 pounds. My total weight loss over the past Mm, about four months is 17.7 kilos or 39 pounds so far. Let's keep going. So for breakfast I'm going to eat this. It says salad but like it's not really a salad. Like I see salad as just some raw veggies thrown together and that's about it. Maybe a little bit of dressing but that's it. This is more of like it is like potato and egg but there's also like some mayonnaise. If you look at like the nutrition facts it does have some protein. I'm going to eat half of this thing so that's like 10 grams of protein. It has quite some carbs like 22 grams but most of them are a uh, complex carbs and it also contains quite some fat but most of it is like the unsaturated fat so it's okay I'm just going to eat it like consist uh no not consistency like convenience <laughs> um so yeah and half of this thing is let's see one two three 370 calories it's not like that much so it's it's pretty calorie dense but I'm going to scoop half into a bowl and I'm going to eat it Bon appétit, eet smakelijk. Hey Kairan, how are you? <laughs> Cutie, you smell like wet dog. Which is not surprising because he just walked outside in the rain. So I am having a cup of coffee and look at this little spoon, it's so cute. So how I drink my coffee, this is like espresso, instant powder, very very easy. I add some of like the artificial sugar tablets, then I add my water, then I grab me some milk, a little splash of milk, stir stir stir, and that's my coffee. How I used to drink it though, I would add some of this powdered milk, but this stuff, like it contains quite a few calories, so I don't do it anymore about that much and then also like a spoonful of sugar so that's how I would drink it but not anymore real milk way less calories and then the artificial sugar tastes also like pretty good so that's it by the way I really really want a fridge like this one like look at it how easy you don't have to bend down you can just like open it and if you need to get like to your freezer then you have to bend down but like that's way easier because you don't use your freezer like 20 times a day so that's good i really like this also there's a load of laundry going this is my blanket uh, but it doesn't fit into my washing machine so i am washing it here or while stefan is washing it for me really really nice stir 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 okay so we're going to enjoy our coffee Bon appetito. Okay, so we have one slice of bread with some chicken, we have one slice of bread with some chocolate sprinkles, and we have one slice of bread with some salami. Kairan, what are you looking at? Are you looking at my chicken? He just got like a little bit of chicken. Um, yeah, but this is my lunch, so bon appetit. It's smakelijk. Hey, Lam fam. So I'm here with Stefan. 
Hi, Lenfe. And we are going to make some eggnog. So I have never tasted eggnog. I've never made it. So we are going to make it just from scratch. So let's do it. And I'm very curious about the taste. However, this is like a huge calorie bomb. So just know that. Also, I will link the recipe that I'm going to use or we're going to use in the description box below. So if you want to follow us along and also make some eggnog, you can do so. Let's make some. Ready, go. Okay. Let's go. Whisk the egg yolks and the sugar together in a medium bowl until light and creamy. So we need our egg yolks and sugar. Six egg yolks and half a cup of granulated sugar. I will convert that into grams for myself. Oh my God, like why is it so, like do you see what it's doing? Stop doing it. Oh, these are my boiled eggs now. <laughs> Just kidding. Oops. Okay, so half a cup of sugar, that's 100 grams of sugar. So let's add 100 grams of, oh sugar okay so i think this sugar has set a little long <laughs> it has all like hardened up and stuff okay let's get some not clump together sugar let's add our eggs yes, our yes. egg yolks egg and yolks. let's whisk that together okay so we're going to whisk this together until it's light airy and fluffy so let's do that Okay, so this is what our mixture looks like. It's airy and it's light, so I guess it's good. So next we're going to combine, let's see, some cream, milk, nutmeg and salt. We need one cup of heavy whipping cream, so 240 grams of whipping cream. We're going to add one little pinch of salt. Yeah, that's fine. We need two cups of milk and we need, like, let's see, half a teaspoon of nutmeg. So half a teaspoon of nutmeg, yeah and then some milk. We need to add two cups. One cup is 240 grams, so we're going to add two times 240 grams. But that's not going to go in that glass. That glass is about no, 300 milliliters, probably. I think. We're going to just add this. Another 233 grams. So that's everything. We're going to just stir it through and heat it on the stove. Whisk it, baby. So when this mixture reaches like a bare simmer, we're going to just add a spoonful to this mixture, but we want to do it very slow, like gradually, because if we don't, in here there are a lot of eggs and we are going to boil them if we don't do it gradually. So we're just going to add some milk, we're going to whisk it like crazy, and then we're going to add some more. And once the eggs are tempered, so once they are used to like the temperature being warmer and warmer, we're going to add it back to our saucepan and we're going to heat it again so that it can thicken up. It's pretty much like making like the yellow cream the um, i don't know what it's called like the yellow pastry cream that you find in all kinds of like desserts or pastries so yeah let's do that but we do have to need like all our hands so i'm going to try to film it but i can't promise anything so this saucepan is way too small so i hope everything that's over in that bowl i hope that we're not going to fuck it up but let's just heat it in the saucepan Okay, so this just all fits in this pan. We're going to just cook it for a few minutes and after that we're just going to take it off the stove, off the heat. Okay, so let's add our mixture to the bowl. It has been thickening like a little bit. It looked like as if there were clumps in it. So we found out that there were quite some clumps in it, so we are just going to sift it to get rid of like all these little pieces of boiled egg. Hopefully it's still good. I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla extract. We're going to whisk it through and that's about it. Okay, so we have these two like super, super tiny cups. They're made for like espresso coffee. So let's fill them up or well, a little. Okay, so let's taste test it. Salute. 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 Mm, no, we fucked it up. I like it, but it's, you can. It's really, really it's eggy. It's a little fine egg, egg uh, structure mm. to it. I am going to make this again for Christmas or whatever. I'm going to make it again and not let it fail. The taste is good. I really like the taste, but the texture is horrible. But the taste in general, I like it. I'm really big on texture, so I really want to make it again. So we'll see, but it smells super delicious. It tastes good, only texture. So let's make it again. But um, I'm going to go home right now. Once I'm home, I'm going to make dinner. And after that, I really, really, really have to start editing because i still have to make like i still have to edit like the whole video that has to go up tonight because i haven't been able to work on it so that will take some time but um yeah let's do that let's go home let's say goodbye to kairon first okay.
Come on. Do you want to head bud? Yeah, you're so cute. Okay, we'll see you after Christmas. You're so cute. Mwah. Bye. Good. Okay, so I am going to start my cooking and as usual, I'm going to eat or no, I'm not going to eat for two persons. I'm going to cook for two persons. So let's begin. I'm first just going to peel some potatoes and I'm going to cook them. Then I'm also going to cook this stuff. I have no idea what this is. So yeah, let's learn a new word today. I'm going to insert it here and I'm going to try to remember it for next time. This is so, so good. I really like it. So I am going to measure it out a little bit so that I just eat enough, around 700-800 calories in total. So let's start. By the way, the kitties are also eating, or while well, they were eating, they just stopped. Drumstick, what are you doing, you little rascal? Mucker, what are you doing up there? You're the night sky trying to make me see your stars. The dark had suddenly Now I see violet I can feel silence In the dark saw that I see When your stars have burnt out And your heart makes no sound I'll find violet in your eyes You'll always be my night sky Okay, so let's add some of the gravy right there. So this is what I'm going to eat. Bon appetit et smaklik. I forgot to film my Santa yesterday. So we're actually going to do two steps. So 19 and December 20th. Ta-da! We are so close. Only like one, two, three, four, five days left. Not even five, by the way, four, because it's like the end of the 20th right now, so almost like four. Oh my god, this month went by so, so fast. I am going to have to dump you soon, you little evil Santa. Hello, I'm fam. So, yeah. It's the end of the day. I wanted to close this video, but not before I've talked about something with you. Um, first of all, I talked about this in my live stream. I wanted to change my name from Temi Lemon Weight Loss to Temi Lemon. I thought about naming it differently, like somebody suggested like Temi Lemon Diaries, which is like a really cute name, but I just want to keep it at Temi Lemon. The reason that I want to change my name is not because I'm not losing weight, obviously. It's just that some people that are new to my channel get the wrong idea and think that I am like this weight loss channel with only filming myself losing weight and eating healthy looking stuff. As you know, I'm not, I am losing weight, but most of all, I am a mental health recovery channel. And so that's the reason why I want to change my name. I have been waiting though to do it until like this uh, way in because I want, I don't know, I think I just wanted to show like, it's not that I'm changing my name because I'm not losing weight anymore and I want to chicken out. It's stupid. I should be changing my name whenever I want to, but I decided to wait until this way in, so it's good. I also, I'm really, really over this day. I'm really not feeling very good, so I'm trying, I'm going to try to keep it short. I, ugh, I, I just want to go to bed. Also, I have not really been reading comments. You might have noticed. I am not like in the best headspace the, for the past few days and so I have not been reading and replying to many comments because that's the way that I find helps me to protect my um, mental health. However, when I open my YouTube app, I instantly see three comments, like the last three comments that I got in like real time. And I had this one comment and normally I don't talk about these kind of things on my channel because I want to keep it positive. This comment, it wasn't really super negative or anything, but it just stuck with me, especially because I was feeling down. And this comment, it said something, Yuki, give back my back. Oh my God, they are annoying. 
or well they're not annoying i'm just i'm like i said i'm really irritated i really need to go to bed um so yeah by the way this is like a cat whisker that i just found <sighs> okay focus um this comment said something like you do not sacrifice enough i think it was about me losing weight the reason why i want to talk about it is because i think there is a lesson in here for myself and maybe also for you guys when we go to instagram or when we go to tiktok we are so used to see like before and after pictures or people telling about their stories and sometimes i think we just skip over all the time that is in between the start of someone wanting to lose weight and the end of someone reaching their goals and if you look at least for myself i'm like editing every day and i see myself like having my breakfast shake having some bread having some dinner and that's about it and sometimes i i eat a snack and that's about it it's pretty boring at least to me like weight loss is pretty boring and i wanted to talk about this for so long i have this note in my phone that says weight loss is boring have to talk about it and so i wanted to talk about this comment because this comment per perfectly goes with this thing um so i think the person that wrote that to me like i of course don't exactly know what goes through their mind but i think that they see me eating pizza sometimes they see eating me fries sometimes i have a binge and i eat like this huge amount of food chocolate stuff like that i ate an olibol when i went to like the light festival i have eaten several things because of me doing taste tests so it may seem from the outside that i'm not really like sexual sacrificing certain eating habits in order to lose weight however as you saw i am losing weight and i think it's really really important to show this behavior like it's okay to have a snack every now and then and i think that it's something like i always have stand by this because i really really believe in it like it's okay to lose weight and to go to the gym like four times a day and to eat salads 45 times a week i do certainly believe that you can lose weight that way but i also think that it's really really important to find a way that works for you i since i started like this weight loss thing in august i don't think that i have walked one single walk i want to start walking and i'm really easing into it it's just i do want to go walk not because of losing weight because i really want to build up my stamina but i also know that walking in particular is something that's really Really, really triggering for me last year around uh, september i would walk and walk and walk around like 18 to 20 thousand steps a day and this might not be a lot to you but if you think about someone that weighs 400 something pounds walking that much i would walk until my legs my joints until everything would just hurt and then i would continue i know that some types of these behaviors are really really toxic and that's why i make the choices that i make to not go for walks every day i want to ease into it and i want to start doing it that's why i keep eating like an olibol every now and then or another snack i really want to show everyone that is watching this like you can lose weight without eating salads every day without going to the gym 50 times a day because that's what we see a lot of the time on tiktok and instagram Instagram. and for me myself when I wanted to lose that weight because I wanted to lose weight as quickly as possible and that's very understandable because we want to change and when we have decided like okay we want to lose weight everybody would want to lose weight overnight and be like in a healthy body the next day you know what I mean right however that's just not how it works between like the before picture and the after picture there is a long period of time boring boring time where you just live your life and just do your thing and keep following this lifestyle that eventually will lead to change and that's something that i really really hope people see in my channel that they see it is about mental health and losing weight will come naturally once you feel better when you start to take care of yourself and it's okay to have a snack it's okay to have a binge every now and then if you suffer from binge eating disorder you will have binges every now and then that's just how it goes if you have bulimia or another type of eating disorder you will restrict sometimes you will purge sometimes that's not something that you can get rid of in one day i don't know maybe they won't even like vanish entirely maybe i i the rest of my life i will have binges every now and then but i just wanted to say like you don't have to sacrifice to use that word again because that's a very very strong word you don't have to sacrifice every single snack you don't have to sacrifice every minute of free time you have to go 
to the gym to lose weight. The most important thing is that you learn how to look at yourself, to be compassionate and to allow yourself to have a snack sometimes, to not go to the gym like 40 times a week. If it works for you, it works for you and you should definitely do it. But for me at least, if I, like I went from being depressed, binging almost every day to not binging every day and to eat relatively, relatively, oh my god, relatively, relative, oh, you know what I mean, <laughs> pretty healthy, which makes me lose weight. I lost weight gradually over the past few months and whether I gain it because I am going to have a relapse in five months, I don't know that, but however, I still lost the weight and I did it not by sacrificing every little piece of joy that I could find, but by just adjusting gradually. Like I said, I laid in bed being depressed, feeling like utter shit and when I thought of like oh my god the only way to lose weight is to go to the gym every day to walk for at least two hours every day and to eat around like I don't know 1200 calories a day it would overwhelm me and it would keep me in that bed because I thought I cannot do that I cannot go like for a walk two hours a day I I, I can't even go out of my bed to take a shower like what the fuck and that's something that I really want to show you. Like if you are depressed, if you're feeling down and you're in your bed right now and you look up these TikToks of before and afters, it might have to do with like mental health. It might have to do with weight loss, but it also can be like someone putting up makeup and a before and an after. And you are like, oh my God, she's so pretty or he's so handsome and I'm so fucking ugly. It doesn't have to be a one day shift of you going from in your eyes being useless to you being perfect. That's not how it works, unfortunately. So yeah, <laughs> to the person, by the way, who sent this comment, don't worry about it that first of all, and also like I'm pretty good in handling negative or well negative. It's not even super negative, but at the time that I read it, it got me into a negative space, but that's more because of myself, because I read it in a headspace where I was like, not feeling it. But in the end, it also brought me some good things because it made me realize like how bad I wanted to lose weight just as fast as possible. And also like that I really learned through therapy and a lot of other things that that's not how it works and that I'm really really grateful for that, to have my eyes open to that. So yeah, that's just what I wanted to say. I'm rambling way too long and oh my god, I am not feeling it today, like I said. So I'm going to bed. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I'll hopefully see you in my next one. Bye, Lam Fam. You're the night sky trying to make me see your stars The dark gets in